Hi, my name is Ima Goad, and I work in the Research and Technology Directorate at ECBC. I work for the Physical and Computational Sciences Division in the CB Systems Integration Branch. Today I'm going to talk to you about the TAC Biodetector. It's well known that one can detect biological agents using laser-induced fluorescence. Unfortunately, the lasers required and the associated optics required are costly and result in a detector that is well over $100,000. In 2003, ECBC initiated an in-house program to develop a small, low-cost, lightweight biological agent detector known as the TAC-Bio. Instead of using lasers, the TAC-Bio uses ultraviolet LEDs that were developed by DARPA. While the cost and power advantages of these LEDs were obvious, the exploitation of these devices requires some rather innovative optics, electronics, and software. The TACBIO was developed entirely in-house within the Research and Engineering Directorate. Uh, University of Arizona was consulted with the optics, and SAIC was consulted with the electronics design. The core TAC bio detector weighs a little more than one pound. The UV LED provides the ultraviolet light, shown in blue. Custom optics focus this light to a point within the TAC bio's optical body. Aerosolized biological particles are pulled orthogonally through the light source. Fluorescence, shown in red, occurs at the point where the biological agent particle and the ultraviolet beam intersect. Custom low-cost optics then direct the fluorescence light to photomultiplier tubes. Novel photon counting electronics process this signal and reduce it to the measured number of detected biological particles. This information is then passed to an internal algorithm to determine the alarm status. The, ta the package TAC bio is less than one cubic foot, weighs 11 pounds and operates for 30 hours using a BA5590 battery. A technology readiness evaluation conducted by the PM Bio Defense assigned the TAC bio a TRL6 rating. Although current unit production cost is $9,000, we have shown how this cost could be reduced to $2,000 in large-scale production. Many of the cost reduction improvements involve innovative manufacturing approaches developed here at ADM. An example of this is making a set of diamond machine mirrors used in the optical cavity out of plastic using injection molding and then aluminizing the surface. The TAC bio can be used alone as a biological point detector or as a trigger within a larger system. Because of the TACBIO's small, low-cost, and low-power design, it can be used in many different applications. For example, one could consider repackaging it into a smoke detector or canteen-sized unit. Also, the TACBIO now opens doors for having biological detection capability mounted on an unmanned aerial or ground system. The TACBIO success has resulted in a significant paradigm shift in the world of biological agent detectors. This may be best appreciated by the fact that ECBC already has licensed our seven patents to two industry partners and is in active negotiations with others.